Hello, this is Spellbinder with this news report on aspartame, the sweetener that kills. And it does. It's a deadly neurotoxic poison. Turns into methanol. Turns into basic wood alcohol. You might as well be drinking moonshine that turned to wood alcohol. At least get a buzz off of it before it blinds you and kills you with carcinogens. And this is the reason why by Betty Martini, doctor. Aspartame and coffee study. To understand what the study means and when it talks about protective abilities, Dr. Woodrow Monte, author of Aspartame, Methanol, and the Public Health, explains. When the author of the article is talking about protection, he is merely referring to the well-known fact that there are certain levels of acidity that can slow down the rate that aspartame turns into methanol. No level of acidity PhD can stop the methyl ester from turning into methanol when it is in a solution such as Diet Coke or coffee. This helps you to understand why so many people go blind adding equal to hot coffee or tea. In the beginning, the FDA said they were only approving aspartame, NutraSweet, equal, spoonful, uh, Candriel, E951, Anemo, Sweet, Venevria, etc., in dry products because they couldn't heat it. The methanol breaks down to formaldehyde and formic acid and causes metabolic acidosis. Also, the molecule breaks down to dectotrophinazine, the brain tumor agent. In other words, the product is adulterated and against the law, but that obviously didn't bother the Food and Death Administration, whose loyalty is to Big Pharma and not consumers. Then, after admitting you couldn't heat aspartame in 1993, they approved it for baking. Did the FDA not realize that baking is heating? Just as putting equal into coffee is heating? Again, loyalty to the Big Pharma is more important to the Food and Death Administration than protecting the health of the consumers. In 1996, Dr. David Kessler of the FDA approved aspartame for general use, even though in the secret trade information voluntarily submitted during the congressional hearings by G.D. Seal, and the original manufacturer, admitted aspartame could not be used for everything. You can look at here and find the truth. I'll have this at the bottom of the uh, video in my description. You can go and see this article and go to that link. Maybe somebody ought to write a law against approval through devious methods. The FDA said they would approve aspartame for general use in 1996 if consumers complained went down. So the first thing they did was stop taking aspartame complaints, as published in the Food Chemical News. However, I wonder how they could possibly make the existing complaints go down. Leave it to the Food of Death Administration. They said they had to change their bookkeeping system, and this required them to throw away hundreds of aspartame complaints. Makes me think of the Proverbs 13.5. The righteous hate what is false. But the wicked bring shame and disgrace. My friend Gloria Collins used 12 packets of Equal all together in her coffee every day. Her ophthalmologist said she was going blind. She had MS symptoms and thought she was dying. After abstaining from Equal in her coffee, her sight returned and her MS symptoms disappeared. David Ritz who founded www.doorway.com also used Equal. He began to lose his vision and had so much joint pain he built a room onto his home for a jacuzzi because in the warm water his pain wasn't so bad. He had gone to 12 physicians who did not know that aspartame triggered joint pain and blindness and had not been able to get relief. 
off aspartame, his vision improved and his joint pain disappeared. He also lost 50 pounds. Because aspartame in Diet Coke does not make you lose weight, you actually gain weight. And it's bad for anyone who's a diabetic, it makes their diabetes worse. However, in the end, aspartame killed him with cancer. It is a multipotential carcinogen. I hope you people understand what that's saying. It's saying you're going to die if you use the stuff. Stop using aspartame products. Charles Fleming drank 8 to 10 diet pops a day and used equal and other aspartame products. He died and the autopsy showed acute methanol poisoning, including chronic methanol poisoning for years. His wife took three polygraph tests and passed passed and the detectives who investigated told me she was innocent but he couldn't stop the indictment because he was promoted she was also given 30 and 20 years concurrently for the crime that was committed by the manufacturer in other words they blamed her for poisoning her husband uh, Diane Fleming, a Sunday school teacher who helped the homeless, has been in prison for nine years. Aspartame interacts with cretin, and he used three times the amount. It was probably the straw that broke the camel's back. Dr. Betty Martini, Mission Possible International. You can get a hold of her at this number if you have questions or information. Here are other links to tell you that backs up her story if you need to know what is really about aspartame the sweetener that kills I hope this wakes up a lot of people because this stuff is deadly it's deadly poisonous it's just another product the FDA gets paid off to allow and on the market and you see it didn't help anyone either do you think S510 is going to help anyone I don't think so S510 is exactly what they want. They're criminals. The whole system is criminals. When the Fed gets control of something, they usually criminalize it for their own purpose and profit-making mechanisms. And this is what has happened now with the S510 going back into the Senate because the criminals in the Senate are going to reconsider passing that again. This time, under the guise that the house is okayed their rule fundraising because they attached it to a bill for appropriations remember aspartame is a deadly poison stop using it read the labels stop taking it it will make you sick it will make you have symptoms that will make you think you have something else that you don't have you'll go to the doctor and he'll give you all types of medicines to uh, make you well from something that all you had to do is stop using quit making money for these for the pharmaceutical company whose motto is to kill the human to make a profit until next time this is Spellbinder with this very informative and informative article by Betty Martini at rinse.com good day